Greetings to all my new guitar player friends from Poland. I am Steve Pisani, one of the owners of D'Angelico Guitars, and it's my pleasure to show you some of our EX Series D'Angelico Guitars. The first one is probably our most popular guitar. It's an EXL1. It's an archtop guitar and uh, features our beautiful iconic headstock, Grover Imperial tuning machines in gold, a Kent Armstrong floating pickup. Because the pickup is floating, the top can vibrate and you have a full, full, nice tone. We also have iconic D'Angelico stair step tailpiece and a nice uh, bridge which is made out of ebony. This guitar is carved top and back and like I said, it's our most popular guitar. So people who like to play jazz and uh, bebop, they use a guitar like this. Next up is uh, one of my personal favorites. It's the EXSS. This guitar is uh, arch top as well. Features a post like a violin, so the top can really vibrate. We have the beautiful D'Angelico headstock. This particular guitar has black hardware, Grover Imperial tuning machines, Kent Armstrong pickups, but coming for 2016 is an option for Seymour Duncan pickups as well for our guitars. Also, we have the stair step tailpiece. This body is only 15 inches across, so it's very comfortable for players to use. Besides jazz, we have a lot of blues players who tend to buy this guitar now too. It's lightweight because like I said, it's hollow and it's a wonderful addition to your guitar collection, especially for people who also want to play jazz and blues, but maybe jazz isn't their first calling, but this guitar can handle it for sure. Next up is a shape that I'm sure you're all familiar with. This is called the D'Angelico EX DC. DC is for double cutaway. Of course, we have the Art Deco D'Angelico headstock with that cool 30s vibe truss rod cover. D'Angelico um, logo. Al Grover Imperial tuning machines in gold. Block inlay right through. Ken Armstrong pickups. Also, the very cool D'Angelico pickguard, continuing with that stair step look. And the stair step um, tailpiece, of course. This one has a um, block right through, semi hollow body. And a lot of rock players, as well as blues and jazz players, use this guitar. Very famous shape. It's been used for many years. And the thing about this that's wonderful compared to others is for the quality, the price is fantastic. Next up is a new model that we just did for 2015, the EX-175. This baby's the hot rod. You have your Bigsby uh, tailpiece on it. Of course, we have our D'Angelico headstock, which is known worldwide. The Grover Imperial machines. This one we do in chrome, has that cool chrome vibe. This is an arch top with the Ken Armstrong pickups. Another cool feature of all the guitars is the ebony knobs. They're actually ebony and uh, people really love them. This next one is very cool. A D'Angelico with P90 pickups. We actually found this guitar in an ad from 1959 from D'Angelico. So the name is EX59. Cool things about this guitar is, of course, our headstock and the Grover Imperial machines. They all feature these beautiful Grover Imperials. And we have the P90 pickups. Cool retro vibe pickup selector that 1959 looking uh, tone and volume controls. Also the stair step pickup. This one's a 17 inch body. So many arch top players either have a floating pickup or some of them have one humbucker. Now you have the option of getting a guitar with the P90 so you get that P90s vibe. When you dig in, the guitar pops out a little bit. This one is, uh, like I said, it's about two years old and uh, it's a retro EX59 uh, from a D'Angelico 1959 that we found. That's a beautiful guitar. We did not forget the bass players out there. This one is EXSS Bass. This is a hollow body, has a post like a violin. We have the two dual coil pickups and we spent a long time, a lot. we did a lot of prototypes to find the exact right placement for the pickup. 
When you use that first um, pickup, the neck, you get a deep, very uh, round sound. And when you use the lead pickup, it growls and it really has great attack. Of course, we stand with the D'Angelico uh, headstock, the iconic headstock. Something else that's cool too, for guitar players who play guitar and play bass, this has a three quarter inch scale, so it's very comfortable for guitar players to switch back and forth to the bass. Since we uh, are on the bass subject, we have the same bass, but fretless. And of course we have the dots there for those of us who cheat a little bit. There you go. And uh, remember we talked about the pickups before. Using that uh, rhythm pickup, the fretless gives you that wonderful, uh, authentic uh, fretless sound. Last but not least, I'd like to talk about is we do all of the models left-handed version. So any style that you might play of the instruments that we spoke about, we uh, have them lefty. It's not the pale moon that excites me, that thrills or delights me. Soft love.